Hello and welcome to the COVID-19 Bulletin, your weekly update on COVID-19 research and management. I'm Rangabashyam. Let's start with our first story. The Nagpur-based National Environmental Engineering Research Institute, or NIRI, has transferred the know-how of indigenously developed saline gargle RT-PCR technique to the Ministry of Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises, MSME, for commercializing it. The saline gargle RT-PCR technique is simple, fast, cost-effective, patient-friendly and comfortable. It also provides instant test results and is well-suited for rural and tribal areas, given minimal infrastructure requirement. In the light of the prevailing pandemic situation and the probable third wave of COVID-19, CSIR NIRI fast-tracked the know-how transfer process to potential licensees for its wider dissemination across the nation. The ceremonial transfer of the standard operating procedure and know-how of the saline gargle RT-PCR technique was done in the presence of Union Minister Sri Nitin Gadkari on the 11th of September. The saline gargle RT-PCR method needs implementation across the nation, especially in resource-poor regions like rural and tribal areas. This would result in faster and more citizen-friendly testing and will strengthen our fight against the pandemic, Mr. Gadkari said. Well, let's move on to our second story. Uh, Indian Council of Medical Research, ICMR, and Indian Institute of Technology, Bombay, got conditional approval for the use of drones from the Ministry of Civil Aviation and Directorate General of Civil Aviation. The permission has been granted to ICMR for conducting experiments beyond visual line of sight or BVLOS and vaccine delivery in Andaman and Nicobar Islands, Manipur and Nagaland up to a height of 3,000 meters using drones. The Indian Institute of Technology, Bombay, has received drone use permission for research, development and testing of drones in its own premises. The exemption shall be subject to the terms and conditions of the airspace clearance and shall be valid for a period of one year from the date of approval or until further orders. Well, on to the next story. The Covin app has developed a new application programming interface or API called Know Your Customers or Clients Vaccination Status or KYC VS which will enable a verifying entity to know whether a person has been vaccinated against the coronavirus or not. Over 72 crore vaccine doses have been administered since the vaccination campaign against COVID-19 was flagged off on the 16th of January this year in the country. To provide proof of vaccination for each of these individuals, COVID is already issuing a digitally verifiable certificate. This certificate can be saved on a digital device like a smartphone, tablet or laptop, etc. or stored in the DigiLocker from where it can be digitally shared as and when required as proof of vaccination. Well, that's it in this edition of our special COVID Bulletin. You can share your feedback and suggestions to us on the email ID flashing on your screens. And for more such videos, download India Science app or visit our website www.indiascience.in and don't forget to follow us on the social media. We'll be back with another edition of COVID-19 Bulletin soon. Get vaccinated and stay safe. Namaskar.